At Clarity, we're really excited about our BIS PSMA product, a next generation radio pharmaceutical for the diagnosis and treatment of prostate cancer. When we first started to explore prostate cancer and PSMA agents, we found that the current generation of prostate cancer products use a single targeting agent. The issue is that when we utilized a single targeting agent, we found there wasn't a lot of uptake into the tumor and it recycled quickly and actually released from the tumor itself. What we did was to overcome this, we developed a product which has two targeting agents. And what this was able to do was to bind to the receptor and then stay on the receptor itself, stay on the cell surface, but also an increase in the amount of product being internalized, staying there over time. What we're utilizing here though, as we do in all of our products, is our proprietary SAR chelator. This is a cage that specifically holds copper. Other cages actually release copper and it goes to the liver, but our chelator holds copper and we can utilize then copper 64, which we use for imaging. And so when we image a patient, it goes to the tumor and then under a PET camera lights up. But the important part about our chelator is that we can use the perfect pairing of copper 67 for therapy. So then suddenly in the one product, we have imaging with copper 64 and then therapy with copper 67. So what we did in our research is we made a product with a single targeting agent and then our SAR-BIS PSMA, which has two targeting agents. In preclinical work, what we found was the single targeting agent actually had modest uptake in the lesions, which quickly washed out over time, which is not ideal for diagnosis nor therapy. But when we investigated our SAR-BIS PSMA that has two targeting agents, we found quite a significant increase in the amount of product that's in the lesions. But most importantly, it resides there over time. So in diagnosis, we can image at later time points, but most importantly in therapy, we have a lot more product in the tumors over time. These properties of SAR-BIS PSMA are ideal and have led to a number of clinical trials, both investigating the diagnosis and imaging of prostate cancer, as well as the therapeutic benefits of this product. Propeller was the first of these clinical trials, which was a diagnostic study investigating the safety and then the efficacy of SAR-BIS PSMA to detect primary prostate cancer. In this trial, we compared it against current standard of care gallium PSMA and as you can see here in this comparison, we're getting around about two to three times the amount of product into the lesions. So the preclinical work has translated very well into the clinical work. So given this really exciting work on the diagnostic, we couldn't wait to test this therapeutically. And so we quickly started to run a trial, Secure, which was a first in human dose escalation, dose expansion trial which we're in the midst of now. First part of that was investigating this product at the lowest dose level in a cohort of six patients. The dose we were providing these patients is four gigabecquerels. And what we found was there was no dose limiting toxicities. But what happened next is the clinicians were given the opportunity to provide those patients that responded with more doses under the expanded access program of the US FDA. One patient in particular who had quite a significant response from one dose, and that is a reduction of 50% in their PSA levels, after four treatments at that lowest dose level, had a significant reduction in the amount of uptake into the tumors post that four cycle, but incredibly a greater than 90% decline in their PSA levels. This was incredibly exciting. We've moved into the next cohort, cohort two, which we've just completed. And that was in three patients at an increased level of eight gigabecquerels. Once again, we found no dose limiting toxicities. But what we did find is that all three patients had quite a significant reduction in PSA. Importantly, two of the three 
had a massive reduction of approximately 90% of their PSA levels. This is off a single dose. We've now moved to the next cohort, cohort three, which has six patients in it, but now at the highest dose level of 12 gigabecquerels. And we are really excited to continue investigating this, firstly at the highest dosing and then multiple dosing for these patients. At Clarity, we're really excited about this Saab BIS PSMA product to better diagnose and then better treat men with prostate cancer. But this is one product in our suite of targeted copper theranostics agents where we're looking to achieve our ultimate goal of better treating children and adults with cancer.